Hello, welcome to this new video tutorial brought to you by Aroha Media. Here, we will learn how to create a simple login form using AS3 only in Adobe Flash. In this, we will need input text fields, a login button, and a few lines of code. So let's get started. First, create a new Flash file, AS 3.0 document. Overall, you already have an idea of how a login window is. The login window will check the validation of the user's login name and password. And if it's correct, only then it will jump to the next page or seen as decided. Name this first layer as text. Take a text tool. As you click on the stage area, change its text type to static text and type username here. In front of this username text, create one more text box and change its type to input text from the properties panel. In this properties panel, you will find three types of text. Static text, dynamic text and input text. Input text is used when you want the user to type into that text field. Dynamic text is used to present the text dynamically. They have many properties. And static text is the normal text we generally use in Flash. It never presents any change during the animation. In this text box, the user has to insert his username. That is why it's an input text type text box. Keep it selected and place the cursor on the embed button in the properties panel. You get to read set font embedding options. Click on this and it opens up a new dialog box of character embedding. This is the character ranges section. Select the character ranges we want to embed. Whatever user types in this text field will be visible in these character styles. We select here uppercase lowercase and numbers. Other than these will not be accepted in the text field. Here's one more option of maximum characters for input. We don't want the user to type unlimited characters there. So, we set the value to 20. Besides that, there's one more option of multi-line. Click on its drop-down menu and select single line. Near to that, Here's a small icon which says show border around text. Click and put it on. You can see a thin border visible to the text area on the stage. So, our input text area is ready for the username. This will be used in action script. So let's give it an instance name my input. Now, grab both the text areas on the stage and duplicate it below that for the password text. Grab the text boxes and hold down the Alt key to create a copy of it. Rename this static text as password. The input text field in front of it will be used to fill the password. It's a copy of the My Input text field. So, let's modify the properties for the password input text. Change its instance name to My Password. Click on Embed to open the Character Embedding dialog box. Generally, passwords are seen in star or hash format. So, for password input, we will use punctuation. Also modify its behavior from single line to password. Save your file as login and let's taste it for now. We see both username and password fields here. The cursor is blinking in the username input text field. So we are able to type in here. And when we type inside the password text field, it shows in punctuation. That is, in star format. And now we need a submit button on the stage. For this, open the components window. Press Ctrl plus F7 for the shortcut. Drag a ready-made button available here. 
Now, to modify this button's label to Submit button, open the Component Inspector window by Shift plus F7. Here, change its label to Submit. This button too will be needed in ActionScript. So name it Submit underscore BTN as instance name. Now, we need an additional error text which will appear when the username or passwords are typed wrong. This error text will be plain static text. Take the text tool and type invalid username or password below password text area. This is a combined error text for incorrect username and password. Lower down its font size to 16 and color to red as it's an error text. This text will be used in action script. So, press F8 and get it converted into a movie clip. Name this symbol as error. It was done except one more screen area where the user will visit after successfully logging in. So let's start creating a new logged in screen on the next keyframe. Start typing using plain static text. In this, in front to welcome username should be displayed. So, get some dynamic text here and place it in front of welcome. Open embed dialog box and select the same uppercase, lowercase and numerals for this. Also set the behavior to single line option. In this, the username should be displayed who successfully logs in at that moment. So, also give this dynamic text field an instance name of my text. Here, the border around the text box should not be visible. So, click off the icon for it. Finally, on stage, our login screen and post login screen is ready. Now, the design part is done. Let's start with the action scripting. Add a new layer and name it Actions and press F9 to open up the Action panel. We have two keyframes in the timeline. So, first we use the Stop command so the movie does not play in a loop by default. Now, we don't want this error text to be visible at first. So, assign it false value for visibility. So, here we declare two global variables. A global variable is a variable that you define outside of any function. This is one which can be defined in all areas of our code. Like in this file, we need to use the same username variable in the second keyframe's dynamic text field. So, we need the global variable for this. So, as a global variable, it will be available both inside and outside the function, but defined only outside the function area. Similarly, let's add one more variable named myUserOfStringClass. In this, actual username values will be stored. The string class is a data type that represents a string of characters. This provides you to manipulate the string values. Let's store a username value as Jack. Similarly, we need to store the password. So, for now, we have our four variables.
we need to use conditional statements ahead. This will help us to decide when to display the error text. The condition will be that if the user value is similar to my user and pass value is similar to my pass, only then the user will log in successfully and go to the next frame screen, otherwise the error text will be displayed. So, if user equals to my user and pass equals to my pass, the user goes and stops at frame number 2. Else, error underscore mc, that's the instance name for the error text. Its visibility goes true. The logic is, if we enter the correct values, it takes us to the second page. Otherwise, show an error message. Now, let's call this above the submit function on the submit button on mouse click event. Test the movie. Control plus enter to get the SWF screen. True username set value is Jack and the password is password. So, to cross check, let's put some incorrect values for both the username and the password. It shows an error text. Now let's put the correct username and the wrong password. Still, it doesn't log in and the error text remains there. Now, put the correct password and check. Here, the user password matches correctly. The user successfully logs in and views the welcome page. But now, we want to display the username in front of the welcome text in the dynamic text field. For this, coding should be added on the second keyframe of the action layer. Open the action panel on that frame. My text is the instance name for dynamic text field. Text is to be set for my text. In this, my text, the user variable value should be displayed. This value is defined in the action on the first keyframe. Let's test the movie. Again, start with an incorrect username and the error text is displayed. Now, in the action script, we modify the user variable value to mic and password to new password. It goes to the welcome screen along with new values for the username in the dynamic text area. That means we are finally done. This is the case when you want only certain people to see the information. As we saw, you can have your own usernames and passwords to protect your files. We hope everything here is clear. Aroha Media is glad to bring you this video tutorial. We will be back with some more interesting stuff. Till then, keep learning.